Mm -hmm. We got enough, I had got enough uh, gear mm -hmm. together and they put us on a truck mm -hmm. and we were off on an adventure. And where where did this adventure? <laughs> <laughs> it led me it led me first up through um, uh, Chulai, mm -hmm. where where I was attached to um, mm -hmm. to the Rainbow Ray. Okay, um, that was my first assignment. Okay, so I was with them for for a while, it seemed like a couple months or so, mm -hmm. and then moved up to the name. Okay, uh, Hill three twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Spent some time there, mm -hmm. watching yeah. watching Puff and some other things. Puff the Magic Dragon, I'm sure you're aware of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite a lot of show. Mm -hmm. So I got a chance to, to watch that and hone my skills mm -hmm. as a uh, intelligence operator. You know, basically we're on heels or higher places mm -hmm. so we could get better signals. Okay. When you were when you were true line, um, attached to the Green Beret, what type of action or what Things went on with them. Well, basically, they they had a they had a base where I was. Mm -hmm. They didn't go out with them. All the trolls all that. They had a base where I was, mm -hmm. and, and they would they would just get uh, hit periodically by okay. um, you know people coming and trying mm -hmm. to ambush whatever they wanted to do at that base, shoot an artillery or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they would they would do, do that. Okay, okay. Um, and, and what? But just you're just giving us some mm -hmm. the chronology of uh, scenarios that, mm -hmm. that that you were faced with. Okay, as I moved up mm -hmm. um, through South Vietnam mm -hmm. to Chu mm -hmm. um then it got a little bit more dangerous. Naturally, Vietnam was a hostile environment. The whole place was a hostile environment as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. um, but I was there um, uh, to do a job, mm -hmm. so that was that was you know what I what I did. Mm -hmm. But I went up through Chu Lai, and then my next Major places were Fubai and and, mm -hmm. uh, and then something called Levenex Square, mm -hmm. yeah, Levenex, and that's where I spent most of the rest of my time, which is which was about seven or eight months of my total, thirteen months mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. A place called Levenex Square, and that consisted of uh, Gilan and, and Don High and the Rock Pile and, the, and those places. Mm -hmm. uh, and most of those places, uh, that's where I saw more action than mm -hmm. than your average person because. Mm -hmm. That was the October, that was the rockets, that was mm -hmm. the waters, that was the, 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 mm -hmm. the, you know, the environment where you want to see a lot of action. <laughs> that was it, the mm -hmm. next square. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and in doing so, I learned that, again, that, that uh, we had some guys that were cute and all that, but, mm -hmm. but it, it led me to, to believe that, uh, that my faith was strengthened while I was there, mm -hmm. during my time there, meaning that that unless um, uh, unless I went home full, mm -hmm. holy in place and everything, all my faculties mm -hmm. about me, unless I went home that way, I didn't want to go home at all. Mm -hmm. So so that was the prayer that I would pray that that the Lord would send me home for His purpose, mm -hmm. and if not, that that I didn't I didn't go home at all. Mm -hmm. So I ended up doing some time, uh, a little bit of time on something called a USS Sanctuary, mm -hmm. which was a hospital ship. Mm -hmm. And that hospital ship, I had a little, little follow of my eyes, mm -hmm. the sun had kind of mm -hmm. messed up my eyes a little bit. So I went there to get those checked out. While I was there, I saw some men who were actually mm -hmm. uh, going through some things that I didn't want to go through, mm -hmm. the missing of this or that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I told them to send me back, <laughs> send me back to, to the DMZ so I'd go ahead and do what I needed to do mm -hmm. to prepare myself either to get out of there mm -hmm. or to die there. Mm -hmm. okay. So what was when you know, we went back? What was what was the scenario and chronology? And okay, as, as I'm finishing up from from the DMZ, I left mm -hmm. the DMZ and came basically back home. Oh, okay, okay. So I was there. I went back to the DMZ and back to GLN and and, uh, mm -hmm. and back to that to the to the uh, action okay. <laughs> that was going on there. Mm -hmm. And then when my time was up there, mm -hmm. uh, I was on a helicopter. Mm -hmm. to, to come out of there. Mm -hmm. I've been, been on the rock pile, Lebanon mm -hmm. Square, I've been mm -hmm. in all those areas. Okay. So about 30 days on the rock pile, 30 days here, 30 days there. Mm -hmm. I was also with um, a Coast Guard cutter for a little while, 30 days with those guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. so I finished that up and, and from there on the helicopter they, they mm -hmm. ferried me back to uh, mm -hmm. to uh, a main basin to Maine. Okay. And then from there to Okinawa. Okay. Now the action 
that uh, and, and what was that you witness actually come out if you witness death, casualties, all of the above. All of the above. Okay. And Level X Square, that was the, a, a real hot spot, so to speak. That would be a hot spot for the Marines at that time. Okay. That's where more Marines were killed. More, mm -hmm. uh, that was where all the action was for Marines, mm -hmm. for the 9th Marines. Mm -hmm. That's where I was at that. Okay. Right. Um, mm -hmm. how, how was, um, how were you affected by this? Just this combat, uh, during, during this period of time, mm -hmm. uh, what was what was your uh, let's say mental state or or your outlook on on, on on things that were going on? Again, my, my faith was strong. Okay, okay. and that and that's basically what occurred. I took it as I, I wasn't counting the days and all of that. I took it as uh, there's a purpose for me, mm -hmm. and if there is no purpose, then I won't be all right. So, so, so you know, coming out of there, mm -hmm. I knew that my purpose was to was to serve, okay. and, and and that's what I did. Okay, serve the mankind, and serve, okay. serve the Lord first, oh, okay. internal. Okay, got gotcha. you. So, okay, that's good. Right. Now, um, if I may add a couple of sure. operations, yeah, go ahead. I don't think I, I, don't think I added that. Okay. Because of where I was and going up through South of Vietnam, I was I participated as my. Two fourteen says, mm -hmm. and some of the operations mm -hmm. that that were you know, at the time crucial. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I was in, in nine operations. Okay. Okay. Well, tell us about mm -hmm. and Rio Blanco was one of the first ones, mm -hmm. and um, Cimarron and Buffalo and Hickory and so forth. So mm -hmm. these were search and destroy missions and all of that. Mm -hmm. What my job was basically was mm -hmm. to gather enough intel. Mm -hmm. To be offensively and de defensively mm -hmm. uh, competent enough to, to take out um, uh, the bad guys. Oh, okay. 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 So did you actually participate in uh, taking out the? Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not not with my rifle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had an M30 machine gun that, that I was supposed to be mm -hmm. commanding. So, mm -hmm. uh, so it wasn't from me to you kind of thing. It was was a hand to hand. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you say you were um, intel officer. Did you understand Vietnamese or Russian? Mm -hmm. you, 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 you knew Russian, right? Okay, good. Based on your training. Okay. And on the DMZ, mm -hmm. um, at that time, mm -hmm. the Russians were um, arming mm -hmm. the North Vietnamese. Well, AK 47s and so forth. Mm -hmm. In fact, their arms were better than ours. Mm -hmm. so, so, what I was doing a lot of was uh, picking up the intel mm -hmm. from the Russians. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, in these operations, um, you have, I think you mentioned search and destroy. Okay. And what, what was that like? I mean, it's sort of preparing for it, and, and, and then when you were in it, you, you knew this was like uh, hot stuff. You know? And, and, and Dan, let me say, it's almost like, uh, it was almost like TV. Mm -hmm. You know, I was there, I wasn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I might as well just saddle up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and get my guns out there mm -hmm. <laughs> and do whatever I had to do. Mm -hmm. Or I would be sitting um, um, doing the intel stuff mm -hmm. and rounds would come in and I'd say, well, if one of these rounds is supposed to hit me, then I'm supposed to be gone. Mm -hmm. So I took it as a day-to-day -day thing. Mm -hmm. Psychologically, it wasn't like, oh, man, I hate this. I got I to gotta leave. I, this is terrible. I did what I had to do mm -hmm. because that was my job. Didn't know they were called operations until mm -hmm. I got the paperwork. Right. I didn't know what they were. All I knew was I was there, mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. is what I was supposed to be doing. Yeah. And how long did some of these operations last? Uh, they would last usually months, mm -hmm. you know, two, three months. Um, doing during one, at some like Union One would mm -hmm. go into Union Two, mm -hmm. um, so they would expand based on whatever the mm -hmm. criteria was at that time. Okay. Um, well, so Peter Robinson, what when you were not on the front line? So to speak, what were what were you doing then? How, how did you so? Well, usually um, we played games. Mm -hmm. Okay, for instance, um, and this is one of the humorous parts mm -hmm. that I have. Mm -hmm. When I was on the rock pile, mm -hmm. which is a big a big mountain mm -hmm. kind of a thing, um, there were a lot of rats naturally. There were some 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 uh, beasts, mm -hmm. the tiger type beasts. So we we would uh, play games there. Mm -hmm. We would, we would see and try to figure out how many rats we could uh, we could count that were around us or on us at the time. Mm -hmm. And if we could count those, then we would be okay um, the next night because we would know how many we'd have to fight off. Mm -hmm. So we would do that. 